Hi boys and girls and families. My name is Miss Laura and I am the Director of Family Ministry and Christian Education at Grace United Methodist Church in Gaithersburg. I'm very happy to be with you this evening. Um, we're going to have a lesson about clean hands. Now I'm sure you've, going, you've been heard, hearing a lot about clean hands and how your hands have to be clean, especially around this time, using hand sanitizer and washing your hands in the sink before you eat. So let's talk about that. Before we delve into it though, I would like to read you a Bible verse and then you're going to be hearing this Bible verse throughout our Bible study. Now I'm reading from the Adventure Bible, which is the Bible that our children use at Grace Church. And I'm going to be reading from the book of Mark, chapter 7, verse 5. So the Pharisees and teachers of the law asked Jesus, why don't your disciples live according to the tradition of the elders instead of eating their food with unclean hands? Hmm. So even in the Bible, people are complaining that people aren't washing their hands. Now, I'm sure that your parents or your guardians are always talking to you about that. I remember when I was young and if my mum called me to the table to eat my dinner, it was always, have you washed your hands? Go and wash your hands. So let's talk about that. Washing your hands in the, uh, time, for a long time ago, in the time of the Bible, when Jesus walked this earth, we are talking about people being told off for not washing their hands. So washing your hands before you eat, obviously very important because um, your hands could have germs on them that make you sick. Um, so that's why it's important to wash your hands and use either soap, like I have soap that you have here, or hand sanitizer. It's very important to use one or the other, and soap is usually the best option if you can get to that, soap and water. So in the Bible, it says, one day a group of Pharisees noticed that Jesus' disciples were eating without first washing their hands. They asked Jesus, why don't your disciples follow our tradition? They eat without first following our hand washing ceremony. Jesus responded to the people who questioned him, but his answer was not what they wanted to hear. Jesus knew the hearts of the people who were complaining about his disciples' unwashed hands. He answered them by saying, you hypocrites, you are the people the prophet Isaiah wrote about when he said, you ignore God's law and substitute your own tradition. Now, Jesus wasn't saying that washing our hands is not important. He was saying that the Pharisees thought that having clean hands were more important than having a clean heart. Now, I'm losing my place here. They were more concerned with following the traditions of men than they were following the traditions of God, the word of God. So Jesus called the crowd to gather around them and listen to what he had to say. All, this is Jesus talking here. All of you listen. It's not what goes into your body that makes you unclean. It is the bad words that come out of your mouth. Out of your hearts come evil thoughts, greed, cheating and envy. This is what makes you unclean. Now, I think what Jesus was talking about there, as it said, is Jesus wasn't saying don't wash your hands. It's always important to wash your hands for the germs. But he was telling the Pharisees off because they thought that washing your hands was so important because you are breaking God's law by not washing your hands because it was tradition in those, um, in those times to have like a ceremony performed for God, as it were, to wash your hands in a traditional manner before you ate your food. And um, they thought that was more important than what was in their heart and what they would speak about. They would go around being mean to people and just being not very nice people. 
but they still thought these traditions were so important that they would think that that was more important than having a clean heart. So boys and girls, I would like you to think, as much as you wash your hands with soap or hand sanitizer, now I'm hoping you do this many, many times per day, it's important right now while we have a virus going around, an illness going around, that your hands are clean to prevent germs. Now I would like you, every time you wash your hands or sanitize your hands, to think of God and to think about Jesus talking about unclean hearts and think about how you can have a clean heart. Now we're gonna end in this prayer, so keep this prayer kind of in your mind and you can say your own prayer, which is a little bit like this prayer. You can change it however you'd like to and that's what you can do while you're washing your hands. Because you know, sometimes people say, sing happy birthday while you're washing your hands and that's how long you should wash your hands for but instead you can pray, okay? And so the prayer I say now is for us right now in this moment, but as I said, you can make it your own words, but think about asking God to make sure that you have a clean heart as you are washing your nice clean hands. Okay, boys and girls, let's go into prayer. Heavenly Father, we know that it is important to have clean hands but even more important to have a clean heart. Create in us a clean heart so that all we say and do will honour you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, boys and girls, um, and we, I had a nice time doing our Bible study together. As always, if you have any questions, go to Engage Children's Ministry Facebook page. Always ask your parents if you can go online, of course, but we have a Facebook page, Engage Children's Ministry. That's just for you, boys and girls and families. So like the page and you will get updates and, and things like that. You can also go through our Grace Church website and you can, you'll find the Engage Ministry posts on there. So boys and girls, it is our tradition to do Animal of the Day after our lessons. Now our last animal, I showed you Oreo, who went to a new home that, um, the day after we met. So on Friday, Oreo went to a new home and he's very happy. They messaged me and sent me a photo and Oreo has a, has a new mummy now and he's very happy. Well, I'm gonna show you Oreo's sister who's going to stay with us. She's not going to find a new home. She's staying with us and she's very, very cute. So this is Bandit. I think some of you have met Bandit before, but she is changing and changing because she is growing. Thank you, animal handler. Um, she is growing by the minute, but she's not gonna get much bigger than this. She's a dwarf rabbit, which really means a small rabbit. So this is, oh, here we go, baby. This is Bandit. Say hi, you got mucky paws, Bandit, running around outside. Isn't she cute? She's just so precious. She's just so snuggly, aren't you? Mwah. You still cute, you still cute? So this is Oreo, uh, not Oreo, I'm sorry, this is Bandit. Um, so if boys and girls, if you wanted to draw a picture of Bandit, we would love that. You could post it on the Engage Ministries Facebook page or in the comments on this video. And uh, I would love to give you a shout out the next time we get together, which is tomorrow. So Tuesdays, Wednesdays and Thursdays at five o'clock, we get together. And tomorrow is Engage Cozy Moments. So wear your pajamas, get comfortable, and we're going to read a book together. All right, boys and girls, it is time for me to go. I've had a very special time with you today. I love each and every one of you. And Oreo says goodbye too. All right, not Oreo, I keep calling her Oreo. This is Bandit. All right, boys and girls, I love each and every one of you, and we, I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow at five o'clock. Good night, cheers.